Surveying Solutions Incorporated is a privately owned, multidisciplinary firm based in Michigan. The company provides surveying, engineering, and construction services and is pre-qualified with the Michigan Department of Transportation to perform design surveys and construction services. In April 2011, Surveying Solutions purchased a Regal VMX 250 mobile LiDAR system. The system, which the firm calls Molly, has opened new doors of opportunity in transportation surveying and mapping. With me today to talk about some of the latest developments is Jeff Bartlett, project surveyor and a principal of the firm, and Brian Bailey, the firm's geospatial services director. Jeff, one of the things that Brian talks about in his article in our August issue is that when your firm purchased the VMX 250 system, you went through a process of evaluating the technology to make sure that you chose the best one. What did that process look like and how did you go about comparing the different systems? Yeah, it's a great question. We had a lot of heartache with that, that question ourselves. Um, myself and a key employee in SSI, we went through a, a process of elimination type thing with uh, all the different providers of the mobile LiDAR. And uh, one of the key things, of course, was price because there's very few firms out there that have this type of budget built into their annual equipment budget. The second thing was service. You know, this thing goes down, it's new, it's, uh, it's a bleeding edge technology and uh, you know, we do, you know, we make these promises and we got to be able to deliver and there's very few systems out there that can deliver. So we went with the Regal USA because they're a USA owned, you know, USA firm can it, has the ability to service us. And the third thing was the data. You know, our, 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 our major client is the DOTs and uh, you know, we, we basically set up a, a tactical course for, for uh, you know, multiple systems that we had narrowed down to that could achieve the accuracy that we needed. And uh, we set up a, a string of targets and, and put them head to head. And the Regal system, we fixed the, the first point and every, every uh, target after that was within two centimeters without any adjustments, it's just a shift. And uh, you know, that, that to us, we've seen that and we just we thought it was remarkable. There's no way that you can drive a vehicle down the road, be able to map at two centimeters accuracy with any type of adjustment after that. And that's one of the things that SSI is known for. You guys have a really good, um, a lot of expertise in how you set that survey control. What, how important is that? What are the, some of the things that you've learned as you've started working with the mobile system? You know, right now, um, we do a lot of work with the Michigan Department of Transportation and they've kind of embraced the California DOT standards where you set control in 500 foot pairs. But every job's a little different, you know, we get, we have jobs where it's a wide open corridor, you know, we need a little bit less control. You know, we get areas like the 9623 interchange you're talking about where, you know, we're in a wooded area, you know, we, you know when you get a wooded area, you get less GPS coverage and we need to put, increase the control. You know, so every job's a little bit different, but it takes, it takes a, a special know-how and experience from our, from our LiDAR guys that, to know exactly what control to, to put in. And then going along with you know with the with the MDOT people now we've done several projects for them and uh, and different DOTs too, and and they understand too the importance of it because we're we're providing reports you know as we as we fix as we have fixed points we have check shots and we can provide reports where where we're getting the inaccuracies and why. You know I think the fact that Jeff mentioned the Caltrans spec and and you know love Caltrans and what they did and the research they did to put that together but you know it's almost become in the industry to where that's kind of the gold standard or the benchmark and and. I think that speaks louder volumes uh, of where our industry really is, is in that it's, it shouldn't, I don't think it should be a benchmark, but more of a template of a place to start. Because we understand, and, and our project managers understand from a survey standpoint, that not every project's gonna need that much control, and there's projects out there that's gonna need more control. And if the end user of the data or the person contracting services doesn't understand that, you know, and they're picking a bid from a service provider based on price and don't understand that, well, you, the control and how important it is and the variance of that impact of having control on budget, that unfortunately they're not picking the most or the best technology or the best technical solution, but a solution based on price could l literally spell disaster for their project and, and future projects. Sure, and the article itself was titled A Benchmark for Data Fusion. That speaks to kind of another trend that's happening right now where the um, end users, those who your clients, are looking for data not only from your mobile LiDAR system, but also pulling in data from aerial mm -hmm. surveying, also pulling in data from terrestrial, and pulling all of these data sources together into one end product. Traditionally, you know, uh, when a project was in a planning stage, they did a high level aerial, you know, and uh, they did their planning from it, and, and once it went to design, very little of that data was used. You know, the hard surfaces were off, the, you know, we just didn't hit the accuracies that we needed for the design. Now, 
you know, now we can reuse some of that aerial data, especially in the green belts. You know, we can go through with the mobile LIDAR and, uh, you know, we take Molly down the road and we can hit, hit, hit all the tolerances they need for hard surfaces. We can merge in our air, the existing areas that they've had for maybe a planning job or whatever. There's even, you know, county data out there, the dots when working with counties. And, uh, you know, and, and then we, use, you know, of course, there's any obscure areas or something we pick up traditionally. We, we merge all that data together and then we give them the best product for the, for the cheapest price that they can get. It, there's not really a best data source, so to speak, and, and obviously the, the, the article talks about the benefit of, of having all the data combined. Um, and it's, I think it's a, it's a huge um, advantage to all firms moving forward, you know, especially SSI in the fact that it, it gives us a huge partnering opportunity and it's kind of one of our, bo our core business focuses at SSI is you know, now we, we can offer the, the small or medium-sized photogrammetry um, companies an avenue to use mobile LIDAR as well as the small to medium survey shops around the country an avenue to partake and use mobile LIDAR and for us as well it gives us you know building those partnerships has, has advantages for SSI as well and that now you know when we partner with an aerial firm you know it's not a one-way partnership we're not looking just to gain mobile LIDAR business but you know we do have projects here in Michigan and over where we are asked to be the prime and bring in an aerial component so um, it, it allows us and data fusion moving forward it could be absolutely vital to SSI business and that we form those partnerships that are two-way highways and true partnerships. Sure, that makes sense. One thing I'd like to add to that too is uh, very important as we as we bring in new data sources is, is the QAQC process, you know. We're bringing in data that we have no idea how it was generated a lot of times. So it's very important to have some type of internal QAQC process to check the data that's bringing in, make sure it's accurate before you bring it in. So. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. I wish you the best of luck. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.